shot of its face leg. Yeah man, stop it man. Fucking stop it man, you little dafty. Yeah, I'd stop that shot of me leg to put up in a misfit. Should have shark me like easily. I would have to be on pills like. Well, yeah, that shark and fly. Well, yeah, I put a bleed now. That was him. Scared of a shark, or oh, I could turn that shark like easily. Hello there, my name's Buzz Cox and I'm the godfather of Cromlinton. Cromlinton's a little tune, and if you've never been there before, you didn't want to go on because it's an absolute proper shithole. Reese, if you do know who I am, you'll already know that I'm the fastest dancer in the northeast, I'm one of the biggest gangsters you'll ever meet in your life, and I'm the first person to poke a dinner nanny in high school. Apart from that, I'm absolutely pure, absolute fucking rock as fuck. Right, now I'm gonna let you into me new thing I'm gonna be doing. I've already had like video diaries gone up on the internet, like, I've already been on the telly in a documentary and all that. Read, I've got something new for you, like, this is gonna be the purest thing you'll ever fucking have to deal with in your life. It's gonna be called Buzzcocks Lessons in Life. And basically, in this, I'm just gonna be teaching you everything from how to smoke talk. To like, basically like, you know, sparking up old people and like, breaking into the houses and nicking the cookers. So the first lesson today is going to be this. How to make the most lethal tuck pipe that will blow your face off. Tuck was discovered in Jamaica by this lad called Bob Marley. He found someone in his back garden and decided to try smoking it to show off to his nana. After a couple of years of everyone in Jamaica getting off their face on tuck, they decided to tell the whole world, and loads of people all around the world started smoking tuck. Nowadays you can smoke it in anything from a pure class pipe to an absolutely lethal pineapple bomb. Loads of people smoke tuck, even celebrities. These people smoke tuck, he smokes tuck. He smokes tuck, and he smokes tuck. He purely loves his tuck, and he smokes tuck. So you can understand, everybody smokes top. Right, what I'm going to show you how to do is a double barrel doom cloud. And for this, these are the ingredients. You'll need one milk bottle, one roll of tin foil, a lighter, a bread knife and two carrier bags. Right, now you know what you need. I'm going to go through this step by step to show you how to make one of the most lethal tox smoking devices you'll ever get your hands on. First of all, you're going to need your milk carton. This is a normal milk carton that you will find in any shopping centre or any hockey shopper anywhere in the country. So you've got your milk carton. If you want to be an extra gangster, go and spark with the milkman and nick one off him. Right, now you've got your milk carton. Use the bread knife to put some holes in the side of it like that. So you've got like a little bit of room to get the carrier bags in, you know what I mean? Right, so we've got our milk carton sorted out. Get your carrier bags like this, two carrier bags. These ones are just Asda ones, but you can use any type of carrier bag, it doesn't matter. And our lad who used Phoenix carrier bags on one, and it was properly a posh, proper posh buzz leg. It was pure excellent. So you've got them, you're just gonna stuff them in here like that. Ha ha ha. They're gone in there like that. And then you got your idea, one side like that. The other side like that. You know what I mean? So there you go, and you've got that already, like that. What you've got here, which I think is pure class, is a little handle. So you can hold on to it when you get proper horse rocks and suck back off that, like that. Proper, you'll need that grip, like, because if you haven't got that grip, you'll probably fall away and die. But that doesn't matter, I didn't think about that, just think about getting the tack in your lungs first. 
Right, so we've got that. Then get some tin foil. This is just basically, I nicked this off my mother, so you know, you nick it off your own mother. Put that over the top like that, and just, yeah, just poke it in a little bit like that. That's all I'm doing there, like, pal, I'm just pushing it in. Proper gentle and all that, like, being sentimental with a loss. Just imagine that. You're with a loss and it's your first time you've got to top of that and you didn't want to like down straight in but you like want to have a little fiddle about just have a little fiddle with the top like that and just like feel this if it's alright like you know what I mean then all you're going to do is get your bread knife dab the little end in there like that but you've got to be pure gentle dab that in the end like that to get the little holes in and stuff and you're pretty much ready to fucking go on so let's go and test this little daft cunt out and see how good it is <laughs> Yeah, that's pure creamy as fuck, that leg. <sighs> so there you go, you've had your first lesson of buzzcocks on how to smoke talk the most lethal way in the country. Um, I'll be doing more video diaries and stuff like that, like, and I'll be doing more of these lessons, so keep coming back to have a look at me stuff. Until the next time I see you, keep smoking talk. But I will remind you that talk is very dangerous. It can't change people's life and make them into a worse person. But also, it can get you proper off your face and make you feel proper invincible like a gangster like me. Until next time, look after yourself and look out for the godfather of Cromlinton, the fucking Buzzcocks himself. Tell all, pal. <laughs>